What Eye Care Center has quality eye care at affordable prices and accepts most insurances? Where can you choose from over 1,000 frames and walk in with a prescription and receive friendly, courteous care? Colorado River Eye Care, call today, 928-758-2020 or visit them at 2840 Highway 95 in front of Walmart. Colorado River Eye Care, Riverview Optical. Your vision is our number one concern. How can Lighthouse Home Loan cut through the fog of a mortgage? How can Lighthouse guarantee best rates, prices, and services, or your loan is free? Let you apply by phone in 15 minutes, give you a free credit report, and approved in less than 24 hours? No loan officers, no answering machines, personal updates every 48 hours? Just a few reasons Lighthouse Home Loan is your beacon of sanity in a fog of details. If you're a buyer, seller, realtor, or builder, call today, have an answer tomorrow, and funding at the speed of Lighthouse Home Loan Center. Take a basketball court and cut it in half. Add four walls, some people, and a ball traveling at speeds over 150 miles per hour, and you have the sport of racquetball. San Luis Obispo resident Ben Croft has been playing racquetball for 18 years, and he's pretty good at it. I was ranked two for a little bit, and I finished the season twice ranked third. So I've had a, I've had a pretty, pretty good run, but now never at the top of the charts. Those guys, for the past 20 years, have been kind of a special breed. Ben started 2014 ranked fifth in the world, but an injury prevented him from climbing any higher. I did okay. I mean, I finished the season six in the world, which I'm happy with, but it was, it was kind of a tough season for me. I tore my uh, superior labrum in my shoulder. Kind of a, a tough thing to do. I mean, racquetball is a lot to do with your shoulder, so if it's not 100%, it's, it's a tough game to play. So far in his playing career, Ben has seven intercollegiate championships. He's got over 50 pro tournament wins. And he's got three international golds. When he's not tearing up the competition on the Racquetball Pro Tour, Ben can be found at Racquetball Warehouse, where he has a chance to share his knowledge of the sport with those who are also looking to improve their game. They send me messages or emails or Facebook or whatever it is. They get in touch with me and I'm able to reach out back to them. And it's a pretty cool thing. Racquetball is kind of a foundation that can be used for everything in, in your sporting life. And, you know, the mental t side of it, I think it teaches you a lot of good things that you can use throughout your whole life. In San Luis Obispo, Kevin Roos, News Channel 3. In left field, number 19, the San Luis Blues baseball team we see today looked a little different 64 years ago when they began as the slow merchants. The team was made up of mostly local businessmen who had just returned home from the war. They were the, the butchers, the bakers, the candlestick makers for the city. I was an optometrist and and I got my name on the sports page a few times and that helped in building the practice because when I came here, didn't know a soul. The Blues took on teams based at military camps all over California along with the Santa Maria Indians and even the Harlem Globetrotters. They didn't put on a show like they did in basketball. They were pretty straight laced uh, with baseball. Uh, they were a good bunch, they were good athletes. One of the Globetrotters stars was pitching great Satchel Paige. Remember Satchel Page warming up, getting ready to pitch by taking ground balls at third base and throwing them across the first base. Despite the differences in the makeup of the team back then, the Blues were and still are a close family. Personally, it, uh, it was really a, a second home for me here. I, I just think it's a great opportunity for these college boys to come here and get a chance to play ball every day. In San Luis Obispo, Kevin Roos, your Central Coast Sports. It's an aerial ballet of kites dancing over the water with a rider on a surfboard attached below. It's the sport of kiteboarding and it's been around longer than people might think. It goes back actually like to the 80s. Guys were flying kites with giant water skis and just messing around and, and then the late 90s um, it got a little bit more mainstream. The riders use the wind to pull the kite and themselves up and over the waves. And although it looks like surfing, kiteboarders actually have more freedom. It allows for multiple degrees of freedom that you don't have for surfing. Surfing you're restricted to a wave, whereas kiteboarding you have an open playing field and you can ride many different waves in many different places. From what the experts tell me, compared to surfing, kiteboarding is relatively easy to pick up. Surfing is, I would say, a very difficult sport to learn. Kiteboarding, my wife, really is the, uh, the epitome of someone that can learn how to kiteboard. Uh, when she was 50 years old, she learned how to kiteboard. And even though it's easy to learn, taking lessons first is highly advised. It's really not a dangerous sport if you have the previous 
lessons, but if you go out on your own and try kiteboarding, it can be very dangerous. In Oceano, Kevin Roos, your Central Coast Sports.